Today we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 182. And today's lesson is, I will be still an instant and go home. The world you seem to live in is not home to you. And somewhere in your mind, you know that this is true. A memory of home keeps haunting you as if there were a place that called you to return although you do not recognize the voice nor what it is the voice reminds you of. Yet, <clears throat> still, you feel an alien here from somewhere all unknown. Nothing so definite that you could say with certainty you are an exile here. Just a persistent feeling, sometimes not more than a tiny throb, at other times hardly remembered, actively dismissed, but surely to return to mind again. No one but knows whereof we speak, yet some try to put by their suffering in games they play to occupy their time and keep their sadness from them. Others deny that they are sad and do not recognize their tears at all. Still, others will maintain that we speak of an illusion not to be considered more than but a dream. Yet, who in simple honesty without defensiveness and self-deception, would deny he understands the words we speak. We speak today for everyone who walks this world, for he is not at home. He goes uncertainly about in endless search, seeking in darkness what he cannot find, not recognizing what it is he seeks. A thousand home he makes, yet none contents his restless mind he does not understand, he builds in vain. The home he seeks cannot be made by him. There is no substitute for heaven. All he ever made was hell. Perhaps you think it is your childhood home that you would find again. The childhood of your body and its place of shelter are a memory now so distorted that you merely hold a picture of a past that never happened. Yet there is a child in you who seeks his father's house and knows that he is alien here. This childhood is eternal with an innocence that will endure forever. Where this child shall go is holy ground. It is his holiness that lights up heaven and that brings to earth the pure reflection of the light above, wherein our earth and heaven joined as one. It is this child in you your father knows as his own son. It is this child who knows his father. He desires to go home so deeply, so unceasingly, his voice cries unto you to let him rest a while. He does not ask for more than just an instant of respite, just an interval in which he can return to breathe again the holy air that fills his father's house. You are his home as well. He will return, but give him just a little time to be himself within the peace that is his home, resting in silence and in peace and love. This child needs your protection. He is far from home. He is so little that he seems so easily shut out, his tiny voice so readily obscured, his call for help almost unheard amid the grating sounds and harsh and rasping noises of the world. Yet he knows that in you still abides his sure protection. You will fail him not, he will go home, and you along with him. This child is your defenselessness your strength. He trusts in you. He came because he knew you would not fail. He whispers of his home unceasingly to you, for he would bring you back with him, that he himself might stay and not return again where he does not belong, and where he lives an outcast in a world of alien thoughts. His patient has no limits. He will wait until you hear his gentle voice within you, calling you to let him go in peace along with you to where he is at home and you with him. When you are still an instant, 
when the world recedes from you, when valueless ideas cease to have value in your restless mind, then you will hear his voice. So poignantly, he calls to you that you will not resist him longer. In that instant, he will take you to his home and you will stay with him in perfect stillness, silent and at peace. Beyond all words, untouched by fear and doubt, sublimely certain that you are at home. Rest with him frequently today, for he was willing to become a little child that you might learn of him. How strong is he who comes without defenses, offering only love's message to those who think he is their enemy. He holds the might of heaven in his hands and calls them friend and gives his strength to them that they may see he would be friend to them. He asks that they protect him for his home is far away and he will not return to it alone. Christ is reborn as but a little child each time a wanderer would leave his home for he must learn that what he would protect is but this child who comes defenselessness, defenseless and who is protected by defenselessness. Go home with him from time to time today. You are as much an alien here as he. Take time today to lay aside your shield, which profits nothing, and lay down the spear and sword you raised against an enemy without existence. Christ has called you friend and brother. He has even come to ask your help in letting him go home today, completed and completely. He has come as does a little child who must beseech his father for protection and for love. He rules the universe and yet he asks unceasingly that you return with him and take illusions as your gods no more. You have not lost your innocence. It is for this you yearn. This is your heart's desire. This is the voice you hear and this the call which cannot be denied. The holy child remains with you. His home is yours. Today he gives you his defenselessness and you accept it in exchange for all the toys of battle you have made. And now the way is open and the journey has an end in sight at last. Be still an instant and go home with him and be at peace a while. And that is it. That is our A Course in Miracles workbook lesson for today. Workbook lesson 182. And uh, isn't that true? Doesn't Sometimes doesn't it feel like there's a child inside of you who just needs you to stand up and protect him or her, right? Or whatever you want to call that voice within yourself, your true self, right? Because there's times when life just gets a little, too, little bit too crazy and you allow right? You allow yourself to be attacked because you perceive yourself as being attacked and in your defensiveness, you attack in return, right? But then we find that that doesn't do us any good. So we have to learn to put our right mind in charge and take care of that child within us. I remember there was a time when, uh, when I was going through just some awful, awful things and uh, I felt so alone and so lonely and um, I just felt that life was so unfair and I was in a very dark place. And I remember something inside of me said, that's it, I'm gonna take care of you now. You relax, I'm here for you, I'm gonna shelter you and just, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm in charge now. It was like my higher self was in charge and took care of my lower self. And it it's, was that journey into self-love and self-care that I started way back then. And, uh, and, and that's what it's all about, right? You've got this, um, this child inside of you that needs your help and your guidance. And it's begging you, lay down your swords. You're not helping yourself. Lay down your defenses, right? Because you're just building an army against nothing, against an illusion. So uh, that's what today, Today's lesson is all about go inside and connect with that little child inside of you that needs your protection and your help and your love and and what that means is just be love and share your love with your brothers right lay down your swords 
So great to see all of you here this morning. Thanks for joining the live feed and our Course in Miracles workbook lesson 182. Good morning, Colette. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, honey. Nice to see you. Good morning, Kimberly. Good to see you here this morning. Hey, Pam. Yes, good morning, everyone. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you. Hey, Penny. I haven't seen you here on the live feed in a while. Great to see you here. Good morning, Lori. Good to see you, too. Hey, Greg. Good to see you. Hey, Irina. Nice to see you here on the live feed this morning. Good morning, Carter. Great to see all of you on the live feed. Hey, Karen. Nice to see you, too. Good morning, Vera. Good to see you. Love and peace to you, Vera. Hi, Kamya. Nice to see you, too. Yes, good morning. Great to see all of you. Hey, Jack. So, um, so yeah, we're on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 182. We started January 1st with our very first workbook lesson, and we will be going every single day until the end of the year, 365 lessons in our year of miracles. So feel free to share what's coming up for you. Feel free to share any aha moments you're having when you're going inside and connecting to that place of oneness and that true home that we all have inside of us, connecting to that child that feels like they're an alien here, right? Because this was never meant to be a place of, of hardship and stress and fear. So go inside and reclaim that connection that you have to your one mind of love, of source, of God, of the universe, whatever it is that you call that oneness that we're all connected to. And, uh, and go forward and enjoy that today. And, and find something in your day to truly be happy about. I know sometimes we get so stressed out and we go through the motions and we're like, God, I just can't wait to get this day over, especially being a Monday, right? We're just getting through the day. Don't do that today. Look for something that makes you truly happy. And it could be that cup of coffee in the morning, right? Relish that. Be grateful for that. Gratitude is so powerful. It could be that the sun is shining, right? Maybe it's a bird singing at your window, you know, whatever it is that can bring a little bit of happiness to your, to your heart today. Look at that, focus on that instead of all of the things that bring you fear, right? Because there's only two choices, love or fear. If you're not feeling completely joyous, something has gone wrong. You have aligned yourself with fear. So let's not align with fear today. Let's choose love today. And, uh, and choose that child that doesn't feel like they're at home. Let's surround that child inside of us with love today, self-love, self-care, and bring that into our workplace today, bring that into the world today. So enjoy your lesson. I will be back again tomorrow morning with our next A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. So enjoy your day, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye guys.